I'll come and put some flowers or something. How long have you been working here? Long time. How do you like? What is it like? How do you like it? Like being around so much? I mean, it's not really death anymore, you know, but. Um, it's like, I mean. Not so bad. Everybody, yeah. Um, yeah, there's pluses and minuses to every job. Right. Um, <coughs> with my knowledge, of the grounds, I can assist people a lot quicker. Yeah. Very helpful. Exactly. Like I said, I really appreciate it. I could have been looking around for another 30 minutes. <laughs> like I said, it, even, even if you have a map, I mean, this is a foreign territory. You know, um, like, yeah, it's, well, it's not like, you know, you drive down. Maple Street at 133 or 132. Yeah. Here's a section, and like I said, in this section there's there's probably over 300 graves. Wow. Uh, it's just on this section alone, just this lot. Yeah. It's a very big, intimidating uh, place. Yeah. You try wow. to come out and you walk around. And you're gonna be nice. Really? And they couldn't find a couple of them. Really? Wow. It's just orientation. Some people. Yeah. Yeah. So if I wanted to come and put flowers, is that okay? Like if I actually wanted to, like, you know, put live flowers. Yeah, we prefer the fresh, artificial fresh, fresh cut fresh cut flowers you do um <coughs> excuse me sorry mm -hmm. artificial flowers we really don't allow really but we can't control the entire place um it's like a, you know if we, if we had a funeral in this area mm -hmm. i'd probably yank those mm -hmm. i tell people i see glass it's gone because it can you know flat tires for equipment yeah um, someone has just recently put like these landscaping rocks around this headstone up over here. I've got to get rid of that because those can get launched by our mowers. Oh, wow. They could damage someone's vehicle, injure somebody. Right. Um, I mean, there's a lot of, that's why fresh cut flowers. Even when they die. When they die, we can go right over them and turn them into compost. Exactly. Let Mother Nature reclaim it. That sounds good. That's what I'll do then. I'll bring some fresh stuff out. I'm going to take a couple of pictures of those guys and I'm going to get out of here. Certainly. Thanks again. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. You have a good day. You too.
I got a teacher. Let me find um Charlie. Hers is also probably could be in the same um neck of the woods as her mom's. Um when they said that they had plots, I'm like, okay, so check this out. These two empty spaces, that's where, okay, right here next to Samuel Jr. That's Samuel Sr. where that first empty plot is. Next to him is my granddad, okay? So that's my grandmother's sister's husband. That's my grandmother's husband, okay? And then that's my grandmother's sister's son. Okay? And then I got a I got a map now I can check to see who that plot is in between. But then that's my grandma's dad, Conley Harper. They don't never they never mentioned him. And it could be my great grandma. This could be Dot right here. They put, so this is Clary's husband. Clary's right there. So, and I'm trying to find Shirley. I'm going to walk because I can't, I don't have the internet on this other phone. And this is the phone that I was recording with until you know i needed to use the internet so i'm just gonna see if i can run across there she is shirley talbert now these timelines it's obvious where the sacrifices were made you get what i'm saying and i'm not talking about sacrifices that were made willingly by family you know like um <coughs> remember when i passed this area I said Talbert. I was walking by and I said Talbert. I had walked right past hers. That should never happen. Now, where is Linda? Linda should be somewhere around here too. Linda Edwards. That's her sister. Edward Smith Sr. No, no Smiths. Um, But when I was talking about sacrifices, I'm saying like they were killing them off right before I was born. They know the bloodline. They they know what the bloodline produces. They know who's coming. And they try to foster a situation where that that woman has no, um, because of my makeup, you know what I'm saying? I'm so strong on my own. Like if I had my men, you know, or these guys, you know, we really ain't even supposed to have no man. It's just supposed to be us. But out of fear of what that would be like me having them around, So let me see. Um, Bad I must have knew I was going to come and look at this. He put her face on it. And they killed those two back to back. I'm gonna talk about this some more in detail, but not right now. Um, I needed the pictures so I could construct something. 
and I do not see Linda's but I'll be able to pull that up and I'll also be able to get my grandma's whole first name because I always knew her as Doc that's a problem with growing up around demons you know someone by their nickname and never know because you go by nicknames you never know their real their real name and that's a problem that's how they're raising black kids and that's how they're attacking the minds of black kids just to not know imagine showing up here and being like um yeah i'm looking for pookie last name thomas pookie do you know his first name yeah pookie pookie can't be his first name we don't have a pookie you know and then they introduce you to your cousin's first name yeah his name was d anthony like thomas we got a d anthony thomas same birthday it's a birthday you know such and such yeah that's him so anyhow i'm not gonna waste any more time here um you know i was planning on doing something today but not on his radar i will not be i'm gonna come bring my ass back with some fresh flowers and plant this stuff that i got okay